we already have gaps in the armoury of weeds, pests and diseases that we cannot control in some crops in the UK. And this potentially could wipe out, these proposals could potentially wipe out certain areas of production because it would just impact too significantly on those gaps and expand them far too much for a viable crop production. My concern is if we within minor crops, within horticulture, so I'm talking about carrots and I'm talking about onions and brassicas, if we have the very tools that we, we desperately need removed and we potentially have major crop uh, catastrophes, yields are dramatically reduced, we will need some sort of balance in terms of remuneration for the cost. So we could see if we were trying to market our product at a loss of potentially 50% of the crop, we would then need to see a significant increase in our price return back to the farm gate of which the general consumer and particularly low income families could not afford. So what we would then, then be doing is exporting that production outside of the UK, outside of Europe into non-EU uh, countries, developing countries, who will be using the same actives that we would have banned, then we'll be importing that fruit and veg that we can't produce in this country or any other country within the EU back into our country with residues that are set at import tolerances, which are then potentially going to impact on the consumer. Because the PRC UK monitoring data clearly shows that the biggest risk to consumer on residues is from imported produce outside of the EU. So that's what we're doing. Potentially we're exporting the production of fruit and veg that we then can't grow in this country to countries that haven't got the techniques and the controls and the experience and the professionalism and the training and the application skills to actually grow the crops and then importing those crops back into the European Union for consumers to eat. Now, it's not only that, but there's an ethical issue here. Because even if it's not a consumer safety issue in terms of residues, it's, it's all, it could easily be an environmental one. Um, it, it, are we saying then that morally we feel it's acceptable to export the actual environmental impacts of using these products to non-EU countries? So we're saying we don't care about those citizens, those operators in those non-EU countries. I think that's a very irresponsible way forward of thinking. We already have been um, mandatory, mandatorily um, testing sprayers every year uh, by an independent test. Um, and the audit of which the growers undertake is an annual independent audit. So every year we've got the integrity to be able to prove and, uh, and show that all of our sprayers within the assurance scheme are tested annually. Not only that, but all of our operators have formal, focused training on the equipment and, and the products that they use. Not only that, but they have continual professional development where they have to be seen to be demonstrating continual training in the area of spraying application and product knowledge. That is also part of the Assure scheme that they are all growers are audited to ensure that the integrity is there that it's done. Not only that but in terms of training for on-farm staff we make sure that that our on-farm staff are aware of any hazards, not least to do with pesticides, but all hazards in terms of health and safety on farm. And again, that is routinely audited and assessed independently every year, that growers and employers take their responsibilities quite seriously. I think there are some very positive attributes to the proposed 91414 review, in particular for minor use and minor crops. We've been trying for years to get um, a coordinated database of what's approved in all of the European countries so that we can stop duplicating data, so that we can stop in the UK having to spend farmers levy money in duplicating data because that information is not available. So we, we, we desperately wanted this database and it's looking like that that's going to be funded so that um, we can look and see what's approved where um, look at the data and try and minimise the cost to our industry to allow for newer actives to be approved for horticultural crops. That is desperately needed. Um, in terms of parallel imports, we support the proposals in there. Um, in terms of the minor crops work sharing, particularly, we see great advantages on mutual recognition.
Um, and we want to see that happen. In the UK, I believe that we are the poor partner in terms of approvals and newer chemistry coming to our growers to be able to be used. And I see some of the mechanisms within the uh, proposed legislation providing a more fast-track approach to be able, being able to get those tools and improve the availability for our growers to actually combat weed pest and disease now and in the future.